here doing this today to bring this to the attention of Secretary Tom Vilsack, Secretary of Agriculture, because it is his agencies who have not functioned properly in this case of a um, hog farm being established, a big hog farm, like 6,500 hogs, in the watershed of the Buffalo River. All of us need to be involved in this, and there are a lot of people who have helped pull this together. I'm not alone in this, because the Buffalo River is a sacred spot to a lot of us here in Arkansas, and a lot of people around the nation who have enjoyed the nation's first national river for its beauty and its pristine water quality. And to allow this enormous hog factory to be built on the river does two things. It risks polluting the Buffalo River, but even bigger than that, if we start being an attractant for these other huge hog farms, hog operations, operations in North Arkansas because they're being uh, um, moved out of other states, then if we become home to, the, to this industry, then all of our water quality is going to be at risk because North Carolina, South Dakota, and other states have had moratoriums on these huge hog operations because of the pollution they generate. And we need to be aware, this is for, to get the public to be aware of, of what's happening here and what's at risk, starting with the Buffalo River. Public notice did not run in the local newspaper in Newton County, such as the Newton County Times, as we believe the law requires. Two, the environmental assessment done by the Farm Services Administration reach a finding of no significant impact, and that is not supported by any documentation. Three, the environmental assessments must present a no action alternative as one of the project recommendations. It did not, and it also did not offer any other alternative. Number four, U.S. Fish and Wildlife and Buffalo National River were not in fact shown the draft environmental assessment for comment. However, the Farm Services Administration claims they were in their list of, quote, cooperating agencies, unquote. I would also like to say that we have no issue whatsoever with the farm operator, Campbell and Henson. But we expect and demand our agencies at the federal and state level to perform their duties in keeping with the laws and regulations. You know, I, I grew up in Fayetteville, and when I was, a, when I was just a kid, the, the big fight was on to save this river. And so that had a big influence on me growing up. I was probably 10 years old and uh, my parents were involved with that effort and so I grew up with this and after 50 years you know uh, and then suddenly we find another threat coming from a different direction and I think it's uh, very important that we have one river just one at least keep one river in this beautiful state pristine and perfect well, I hope to, I hope it turns around I hope that they we, they will somehow abandon their plans to have this facility where the effluent is clearly going to end up in the watershed. Number one, we want Secretary Vilsack, who's visiting the university today, which is why we're here, to be aware that the Farm Services Agency, a subset of his organization, allowed a loan to guarantee, with publicly backed money, to guarantee this farm, and the paperwork is so shoddy and incomplete, it never should have passed muster. So the Secretary needs to be aware that organizations under him need to, be, have, need to have some oversight and tighten up their ship when it comes to uh, permitting processes. The second thing is to just alert the public about what's at risk here. If we can't lose the water quality of the Buffalo River and the air pollution that these farms generate is unimaginable. And if this is just the start of something big with this industry moving to Arkansas, we're in deep trouble, as other states have already found out.